Hi, and welcome back to At Home with Art Factory. I've got a helper with me today, and he's going to be uh, drawing these with me. Make your own blocky alphabet. You can print off a template from the website, artfactory.co.uk forward slash at home. You'll see this video and a template. You can click here and download it, or you can just draw out the boxes enough for one letter of the alphabet each. Okay, if you follow along to this video, you're going to get all the rules you need for making your own alphabets and you're going to be that much better a graffiti artist. Let's do it. Drawing our own block alphabet, I'm going to show you the rules for how I break down a block into a character of the alphabet and then that can be applied to any shape that you might like. So let's have a look. First of all, the A just has a small amount about one third chopped out the bottom and a hole in it that matches up to that. I'm going to do mine down low like that. And there, when we go around the edges, give it a slight little radius, little curl on the edge, a little rounded. We've got ourselves a nice chunky A. Okay, the B, we're just going to round off the top edge and then take a little chunk from the middle and go all the way around. And I'm going to take out two little chunks which are in line with each other. Okay, the C, I'm going to split it about in the middle there and I'm going to let this line curl around so right to the edges, just a small little curl when you get there. That's a C. A bit heavier on the top than the bottom. I prefer it to be even. Maybe yours will be even better than mine. So the D, we're going to draw a line down that side. And we're going to curl around. Fill up that space. And that little tiny... D that goes in the middle of it. <laughs> it has a little bit high. You can choose where you have it. If you have the rule that it's low down or high up each time, it gives the weight, the, the weight a different position on the letter. So the E, we're going to just take out a little bit here and a little bit here. Oh, it's that wonky line. Okay, F. Similar sort of proportions, this bit and this bit. So, and then across there. Just taking that little chunk out of the corner, curl it around. Okay. Now the G is a little bit tricky. Curl it round at the top. Curl it. Just going to make sure you stop here for a little gap. And then we can bring this bit round here like that. That's a G for me. H. I'm just taking a small amount, similar to the A. Same sort of proportion, same sort of amount. It's about a third. And you might like to have an even smaller gap or a bigger gap to try and keep it consistent across the alphabet. I could either draw two lines across there and do a small I. I'm going to do a capital I, which is sort of a bit like an H. Just having a chunk taken out the side. And you do the same on both sides. Keep it even. And we've got a big I there. The J. I'm going to take just a small amount out of here. Like that. I've got the top bar of the J, shape like that, and then just going to curl it around like that. J. Could come even further back with that line if you wanted. Okay, K. The line again, about a third of the way across, straight down, and then it goes at an angle, and same 
on the bottom in the opposite direction, making the angle. Oh, we need a, a straight line going up there. Nope, that's going to become an N. Try again, it's okay. And then the middle bit, like that. And then we're just going to carefully put a line around the edge. Gonna try again, okay. <laughs> For L, we're just gonna take a third off the corner there and a third off the corner there. And get the same nice radiuses around the outside, that little corner coming off. That one too. M, just gonna have a very small little M at the bottom. Make sure it touches like that, and then at the top we take out a little chunk. Again, it's a third in the middle. N. Oh, I'm getting my turn. Gonna go around as low as that. I'm gonna get it all the way around the edges. P, similar proportions to the L, so but the opposite. We need to go up here, around here. Maybe it wanted to have a shorter tail, narrower. Q. We've got that sticky out bit. And then just go around the edge. And then we've got to have the inside of that bit. round edge. I think I'll tidy all that up with a shadow afterwards. R, similar to the K, uh, this bit. Round here, similar to the B. So all of this is coming from a block that it's being cut out of. So R, the S, now, tricky bit, the S, out of the block. I see what I've done there. We're just taking two chunks out of here. And then the U, just coming down. Maybe that's even come too far. B. Opposite of the M would be the W, straight line, up to the middle, straight line, I mean diagonal, straight up to the middle, and then this nick out the middle, one third, one third, one third. X, we're going to take out little chunks from each corner, um, not each corner, I'm sorry, the middle of each side. Take out the middle of each side there. Nice all the way to the edge of that. Okay, why? You ready for this? We're gonna just take the middle bit here. 
and then about halfway down we're just going to do a, a line that's parallel with that last one that ends with a little tail at the bottom and we can join up those bits too and last of all we're going to split the Z just like that and down and across there and up just like the N on its side and we're going to curl this round and curl this round here and there you have it the block alphabet and some of these have got some scrappy bits around the edge I'm just going to give them a quick shadow do the shadow all from one side since it's a blocky alphabet it's a good chance to practice our shadow so just on the left hand edge and inside on the right hand side it's going to make it heavier and along the bottom so on the left and on the bottom it becomes a bit heavier and all of a sudden really quickly this letter's got some depth to it Oh, and I'm going to cover that wonky line at the same time. Speed this bit up. Yeah. What do you find funny, Lilla? Don't lean your whole bit head over this. I'm just going back and forth around, just choosing different things. Okay, so whilst you're finishing that off, I'm just going to show everyone how these same rule can apply in a few other different ways. So, if you had a 
circles, you could take your ABC from there. If you had these lozenge shapes, like um, eggs, you could take letters from there. take them from other proportions like this. Once you know the rules, you can play around with proportions and make incredible alphabet for yourself. So I hope you've had a go. Print out the sheet that I've got on the website. Try and try again. You'll get your own. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe.